I feel like, especially when you come from the hood, when you make it out or when you're doing good, it makes you feel kind of uncomfortable to kind of throw it in everyone else's face. But yeah, music's just always been a part of me, regardless. Yeah. If I wasn't, and why I say that is because if I wasn't rapping, like, I could have been a producer, I could have been a singer, I could have been a, do you get what I'm trying to say? I've just, I just like music, do you get what I'm trying to say? So when Drill like, became big in the UK, we was like, like the very first people. There was only a few people, a handful of people. And me and Heddy One was definitely up there. And we connected from early and built the chemistry from early and it's just been rolling since then. Yeah, religion, belief, yeah, that's like, that's the main thing for me. I feel like without that, I wouldn't be the person I am. I'd be very lost and I wouldn't have the morals and stand on the principles that I stand on now. Hey, what up, it's game, man, Nando. Hey, what's up, yo, this is 50 Cent. Hey, this is Rihanna Fernando. Hey, yo, Fernando, what's up? It's DJ Khaled. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is J. Bobby. Nando Leaks, okay? Okay, okay. Fernando, X is in that station for a reason, baby, I Nando Leaks. Yo, what up, it's your boy Fernando, a.k.a. Mr. Keep It Hot, Keep It Banging. Welcome to my gloednieuwe podcast, Zoals Je Weet. Interview ik Nederlandse en internationale sterren. Mocht je een aantal interviews gemist hebben, no worries. Abonneer op het kanaal, like het, subscribe. Deel het met je broertje, je zusje, je tante. Show love. En als je een hater bent, ga je gewoon iets anders doen. Maar als je liefde wilt tonen en het kanaal groter wil maken, like en subscribe. En mocht je nog mensen hebben dat je denkt, die moet je een keer uitnodigen. Stuur het, laat het goed. Gewoon reageren. Dus dat. Put it right here. Doing it international. And I told you. I've been representing the UK rap genre for years on the radio. This guy is in the forefront of representing that new style. He's on the forefront of bringing that new flavor. Check out the name. When I say K-Trap, you better check him out, man. He's right here in the building. K-Trap, my brother, welcome to my building. podcast. Love, bro, man. Love for having me. How you me doing, here, man? man? I'm all good, man. I'm all good. Hey, I, I see you on your Instagram, living an amazing life. But the mo- the, the, the thing that really got to me is I see that you believe... In your faith, uh, you got a good heart, man. I saw you building a well in yeah. in 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 everything in, in Nigeria, Nigeria, Africa. Yeah, yeah. Wow, bro. T- yeah. Tell us a little about that, because a lot of time we talk about the success. We're gonna talk about all this stuff, but I, I like to talk about the f- the fundamental part of a person. Yeah. Um, how important is religion and belief to you, and to be able to do these kind of things, like help people? Yeah, religion, belief. Yeah, that's like. That's the main thing for me. I feel like without that, I wouldn't be the person I am. I'd be very lost and I wouldn't have the morals and stand on the principles that I stand on now. And yeah, man, I just live by that. And yeah, with like the water wells and whatnot, um, charity is always a good thing. Like I always, I've always wanted to do charity, but with the right charities. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, man, like I lost a few of my close friends and family so when I, I done one at first for my cousin that passed away wow. and getting into faith and learning stuff made me understand like when somebody's gone a lot of things that we think will help them doesn't help them and the things that do help them is doing good things in their name and wow you got was that also the reason you got into religion because you lost a lot of people around you or um i feel like I've always followed like different religions. Like when I grew up, I was like in like a Christian household. And then, but I had a lot of Muslim friends and family. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like I've always believed in God. And as I got older, like just how I am, my morals, how I'm built, what I think's right and what I think's wrong, and me having a conscience just made me always like look into like different religions. I mean, I found Islam and it just fitted right for me, do you get what I'm trying to say? I yeah. felt like I was living as a Muslim before I even took shahad or anything. So, um, yeah, I don't, I, I wouldn't say losing people when made me turn religious, but I feel like, yeah, it brought me closer and it made me, yeah, like look into things a bit more. It helps you. I think religion helps you um, be very grounded. It gives yeah. you perspective on life yeah. it gives you faith i think that's very important like i think because in this earthly way how we live 
but everything is like stuff and you gotta do this. We're always chasing stuff yeah, yeah. that doesn't really matter at the end and end. We just want to be happy and yeah. have our loved ones around us. Yeah. And and sometimes we think we're more than the other. And I always tell people, you're not greater than the creator. A hundred percent. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. Nobody's perfect except from the creator. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So And and how do you how do you like because like the the crazy thing is like when you're an artist, you're also busy with uh, your lifestyle with being an artist and successful and stuff. Yeah. How do you balance that out? Like being the guy with the chains and the stuff. Yeah. Do, how do you turn and turn off the switch? Yeah. Because on one hand, you're you're the religion guy, religious yeah. guy. You know that that stuff doesn't mean anything. Yeah. How do you balance that out for yourself? I feel like how I balance it. Like, to, how do I explain it? This is why I say without religion, I'll be lost because I feel like that is the balance, isn't it? Me being a religious person, obviously I'm not perfect. We're all sinners. We've all got work to do. But having the faith and and believing, that's that. I feel, feel like that's that thing that stops you from tipping over the edge or True. stops you from True. going too far. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Obviously, I'm a rapper. We all know what that life comes with. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And I feel like if I wasn't, religious then who knows what I'll be doing do you get what I'm trying to say who knows how far I'll go do you yeah. get what I'm trying to say and it, I've been in situations where as a rapper like yeah if I didn't have my faith or I didn't have the conscience that I had mm. to check myself then yeah I'll just be just driving into that crash do you get what I'm trying to say yeah. so yeah I feel like finding a balance there's not much pressure in it like I just go by things it's between yourself and God do you get what I'm trying yeah. to say you can't really if you're a true believer and you and you truly want to change or you want to do good for yourself, naturally it will happen. Like, don't let anybody tell you any different. It doesn't matter what you're doing, what's going on. As long true. as you know your destination you're going to and you're a true believer, then God will fix that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. things will work out. Do you get what I'm trying yeah. to say? So I don't really put too much pressure on it. I just, I just, I know what good is and what bad is. Do you get what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like, I stand on business and I just get on with it. Yeah. I also look at a person... Uh, based on on what what they do and the people they have around, that's how I judge people. Like that's why when I saw you um, invest and give to charity, like yeah. hey, he's built on good foundation. Yeah. So I look at those stuff because that's what it's also like in Islam. Like one yeah. of the five things that yeah. you do is like you, you give like a percentage to charity Correct. and yeah. help people. So I always. That's one of the things I also very I like about the religion as well that yeah. you always care about other people. Of course, and if you can, you help. So I salute you for that because that, that's the no. thing that I want people to also see, like in the bigger picture. Because a lot 100%. of times when we see video clips, we see Instagram, we don't always see <laughs> the the bigger picture or what a person is about. So yeah. that's why I wanted to definitely. And I would say like it's good that you've even highlighted that because I just want people to know that's my biggest flex, like doing them type of things, that's yeah. what makes me feel the person that I am. The chains, all of that stuff, it's all good, but everyone can do that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Them type of things, that's my my forefront. That's what I, that's what keeps me going. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what makes me feel like the guy. So, yeah. Um, Like hip hop does a lot. It creates jobs. It creates uh, a lifestyle it's the 50 year anniversary of hip hop I was recently in the States I was interviewing people and the thing that I always want to know from people is um, when did hip hop enter your life and you was like hey this is maybe something I could do when, when did you get fascinated with, with the whole rapping thing um, I feel like hip hop I feel like music just in general has just always been embedded like I've, I'm born into it you get what I'm trying to say like Literally from being young, just being in a household and just music playing every day. Like, yeah, it's just always been a part of me. I feel like hip hop, I've, I've got older brothers. Like, I've just always had the had an ear for music. I like music. I like different type of music. I like to feel, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, listen to music and feel these different type of music, do you get what I'm trying to say? Um... I can't I can't really say when it when it got to the point where I felt like it was a part of me. I feel like it's just always been a part of me, but me actually wanting to do music, mm. it's crazy because I don't I wouldn't say I haven't got any role models or anything, but I can't I can't really tell you like 
listening to something or seeing something and being like, I want to do this. I feel like I've just always appreciated music. I've always appreciated hip hop, rap, all of this stuff. And I just used to do music by myself, like just from my, my like just from just for me. Mm-hmm. And I feel like people around me used to just encourage me, encourage me, and just make me see the bigger picture. Because I was I was very laid back. I was just making music for myself. I was okay with just making music and listening to it myself, with my close friends. I feel like as the years went by and things became a bit more like popular and like I'm seeing people close to me actually making it and 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 making a career of their career for themselves. I feel like yeah that might have been the push. But yeah, music's just always been a part of me regardless. Yeah. If I wasn't and why I say that is because if I wasn't rapping, like I could have been a producer, I could have been a singer, I could have been a do you get what I'm trying to say? I've just I just like music, do you get what I'm trying to say? So yeah, I just feel like it's always been a part of me, man. Yeah, and 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 at a very at what age did you like really start? Did the process start? Twelve mm. years old, thirteen years old, like writing and it's crazy because yeah, from like yeah, like most of me at ten, eleven, twelve yeah. years old, like I used to just make music at home. Like, I have a little software on my computer and that like, pretty loops or you like, like I used to use something called Mixcraft. Like, oh yeah, yeah, this was like years ago, like yeah, and just record myself, me and my friends and whatnot. But I never used to do it thinking one day I'm going to be big. Like, yeah. it's just a hobby what I was doing. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And then I feel like my thing that made me take it serious or my thing that made me see the bigger picture, my close friends, um, they go by the name Six Seven. They like, we used to make music together from early. And then it's like, they blew up. Yeah. Like, they started doing shows. They started touring. Yeah. They started like, they just showed me a whole different thing to music. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, I didn't really understand or get it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And I just feel like when when they blew up, it's like, because we had so much music together too, it's like they kind of brought me along. But I still wasn't in that kind of mind mind space. Like, I feel like it's just, it just naturally happened. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, and of recent, I feel like, of recent, there's been times when I've woke up like, you know what? This is my life now. I'm going for it. Like, I'm just doing music. This is me. But before that, I was just kind of not going with the flow, but just doing what I like and I was reaping the benefits from it. But there wasn't too much pressure on it. But I feel like that's why I am where I am now because I, I didn't put too much pressure. I just... I just flowed in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And because you also have your own label. Yeah. So in my yeah. mind, that's like... You already know, like, okay, I want to be in control of my content. I want to be in yeah. control of my music. Because that's kind of business savvy. Like, yeah. where did that business acumen come from for you to be like, already, no, I want to do it this way. I want to, yeah. like, who helped you and guide you in that process? So, like, naturally, like, I just got that. Like, naturally, I'm a boss, bro. And I just feel like I'm very hands-on. I'm passionate about whatever I do. And my thing, like, I don't like, Mis- misjudgment I don't like I like to be clear like I don't want to be mixed up in anything like I just want to how do I explain it like anything that has my name on it mm-hmm. I need to like see everything and like, yeah. be hands on and do you get what I'm trying to say like so I feel like that's what that's what kind of molded like the business man too like do you get what I'm trying to say like not sitting back I'm a go-getter I'm hungry do you get what I'm trying to yeah. say and where does hunger come from? Is it something from your upbringing or th- did you get inherited from your parents or or is that something that's... Where, 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 where did you get it from? I feel like... Where does the hunger come from? I feel like... I know everyone has their like stories or whatnot, but I feel like the hunger on me going hard and going for what what I deserve now is the thing where I just feel like when I was growing up, Growing up, I mean, you come from like a certain place like the hood or whatnot, like we're restricted to a lot mm-hmm. of stuff. So how I was living at one stage, I I believe this was the best I could live. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So if I'm living in a state, if I'm just doing like basic stuff, or I'm not doing much, if I'm having this, like this is what I think, this is like all I can do. And it's only as I got older and my eyes were open and I saw other stuff and other people that look like me 
doing way bigger stuff made me realize like, bro, like, I actually don't need to be doing, like, I can do whatever I want to do. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And I feel like once that, 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 like, I had that little thing, I just thought, you know what? Like, literally, I can just do whatever I want to do. So why would I do this? I mean, it's like, when I start to do other stuff out of my comfort zone or other stuff that I didn't used to do, I realized that, did I even like this stuff or was I just used to this stuff? Yeah. And then, and then it gives you that thing where you start thinking like, you don't really know what you like. And then to know, like, you have to experience, you have to do other stuff, you have to just, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I feel like that's, that's what just made me switch and be like, you know what, I'm going for it. Like, because I was here for long thinking this was all I could do. Yeah. And I've, I've witnessed people that's like me do crazier things. So it's just like, let's go. Yeah, let's make it happen. Mm. And, and and your family, how did they respond to you doing the music? How, how was that? How was the support system? Or um, my family, like they've been very supportive. Me, I'm I'm like a less is more like to myself kind of person. So I'm that type of person that will just like not downplay things, but I'm just like so calm. So I feel like when I was building with music, I wasn't like I wasn't coming home and saying oh mom dad or brother like I'm a rapper or I'm gonna be this biggest <laughs> yeah. person or this watch this watch this no I'm just like I'm just getting to work so at the building stages they most probably didn't really know like that and then once they started seeing music they might have thought like, okay he's rapping but where's he going with this and I feel like when I was coming up especially like in the UK, the rap and all of that stuff, it was there before me, but I feel like my like era yeah. was new. I was like one of the first people of like my kind of group. So I feel like nobody knew what, 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 what would come from this, but I just feel like I put my head down working, working, and I just work so hard until it's just in everybody's faces now. Like they can't even believe it. Even now, my family most probably are still taken in how far I've come and who I actually am yeah. because I'm very like humble in a sense like I'm still gonna pull up to mommy's house and just be calm like yeah. you know I'm trying to say I'm still gonna be around my friends and just be very cool and I don't know if this is the best thing to do but I feel like especially when you come from the hood when you make it out or when you're doing good it makes you feel kind of uncomfortable to kind of throw it in everyone else's face so you could like I'm from a place where it's like I might buy a brand new car tomorrow like fresh but I still might come to the hood or still might go and link everyone in, in the banger because it makes people feel uncomfortable uh -huh. so I feel like yeah like you sometimes when you come from where I come from you're in a space where it's like you just downplay everything now I'm at the stage where it's like no I'm I'm embracing everything like Whoever wants to feel how they feel, they can feel how they feel. Yeah. And and whoever wants to get motivated by it, that's that's who I'm yeah. there for. But before I was just downplaying everything. So I feel like nobody really clocked on until now. Yeah, they're like, oh shit, he, he's doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm just yeah, I've got a show, but I'm not like the capacity is mad. It's a big show, it's a festival, like yeah. I'm not going into depth with all of this stuff. But now it's like now I'm fully just embracing it. Yeah. I am that guy. I am this person. Yeah. I am doing big things. This is what it is. So and do you have when you say your brothers, do they also do music or do aspire now? Like, hey, my bro's doing hey, bro. Yeah. Hey, let me let me get a verse. <laughs> yeah, like my my younger brother, he he does music like here and there. Yeah. It's kinda like how I was, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um that's it really. I've got an older brother actually manages me. So, yeah, so he's in, he's involved in the music. I feel like everyone's like, got some sort of love for music, but no. I'm, I'm the only rapper. Yeah. yeah, and how's it to work with your brother and him being your manager? Is it, um, yeah. It's it's good, man. It's, it's proper good. Like, there's, there's the balance and a lot of people don't have it. Like, it's crazy because everyone has different um, views of like working with family mm -hmm. it can go very left and it can go right you get yeah. what I'm trying to say but I feel like you've got it perfect like what's understood don't need to be explained and we're just going for it Literally. but it's a good thing like I always I always believe that you could become much stronger as as a whole like when people 
connect and share information. Yeah. Because like you and me are stronger together than me by myself 100%. solo moving. A hundred percent. But a lot of people don't get that. And I feel like you have to get to a space, comfortable space, and then you understand it. But I feel like down here, everyone's just like, if it's not you, if it's not me, it can't be you either. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. People don't understand that. It could be me, you, 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 you. Yes, yeah, there's, you know there's enough say? for everybody. Yeah. And there's something that people just sometimes be like, yeah, but I don't want, if I can't shine, why should you shine? Yeah. And, but I'm like, but if he shines, the community shines, yeah. and you shine, we shine as well. Yeah, of course. If you get in the door, that means there's a door to get in. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> but if I make sure that you can't get in, yeah. I can get in the door. Yeah. How can we How can we ever evolve if you always stay? As I say hatred is being stagnated. Yeah. When you hate someone, you don't hate them. You hate the fact that they illuminate something that's making you feel small. Yeah. That's that's why people 100%. hate because real successful people, yeah. do you think like they actually have time to figure out? No man, they're they real don't. successful people are only busy yeah. trying to like go to another level yeah. instead of just being focused on. A hundred percent. But the people that hate, they don't think that far because if they did, they would understand that what you're hating on or what you're trying to do it doesn't make any. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It's a waste of energy. Yeah. It's a waste. Of, yeah. that's, that's why I believe in vibes. Like if I if I if I do interviews or when I talk to people, I believe in energy. Yeah. The whole interview is based on energy. Yeah. It don't matter. You can come with the most brilliant question, whatever. It's energy, bro. 100%. Like you, you can't, you can't study this. Yeah. It's, it's vibes. So, sometimes people ask me, but how do you get to go there or yeah. you talk to that person? I'm just myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be yourself. Yeah. And the, I, I believe that that's, and that's, uh, that, that's the energy I also get from you that you're just who you say you are. Yeah. This is you. Yeah. I stand on the exact same thing and I, I always say it, that's the main thing. People, especially being a rapper too, like what people think makes you special, like people see like, oh, this guy's a rapper or this guy, this guy has loads of money or not even just being a rapper, just in general, people always pick the materialistic stuff and all these yeah. other things and think that's what makes you special. But what really makes you special is just being you, even getting into rooms or meeting the people and getting the respect of being you before. So that's that's one thing and anybody will tell you about K-Trap. Before anything, I actually rock with my man. He's actually a good guy. Like, like, do you get what I'm trying to say? And then it comes with, yeah, cool, he can have all the cars, he can have all the change, he can yeah. have all the, yeah. he could be, he could have the hit number one song, but before any of all of this stuff, Strip that all away from him. Yeah, you still stand up. Yeah, hundred percent. Most important, do because yeah, that's the yeah, only thing yeah. you take away when you leave this earth. Yeah, I believe you. It's you. You got to be able to look at yourself in the mirror. Who are you as a person, and what do you want your legacy to be? Yeah, you want people to say, "Oh, yeah, he was a." But all these glitter and glamour stuff, it don't say nothing. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's just, it doesn't. It's just, it's just like, okay, I work hard and I got that. But at the end of the day, you see a lot of people have a lot of stuff yeah. and still they're unhappy. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they haven't found that channel in, in themselves to be yeah. grateful for the fact that... Because basically, if you're healthy, you're, you, you're already born rich. Yeah. I mean, your health is something you can't buy. Mm. Even if you're rich, rich, and yeah, your you and, and your kid, or God forbid, somebody right, mm -hmm. born sick, or that's that's you can't buy that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always say when somebody has a kid, it'd be like, hey, blessings, man. Yo, mm -hmm. as long as the kid is is because that, mm -hmm. and and even when a kid is sick, that was maybe on your path. Mm -hmm. Even that's a superpower. Mm -hmm. You understand? So mm -hmm. I always look at stuff like. Some things are just meant to be that way, but if you have the, the chance of the possibility to help people, just try your best. You can't help the whole world, yeah. but just try your best. That's why I like the, the when you build the well yeah. and you try to help with water. That's mm. is that if everybody in the world would like help a little piece, it would be a greater world. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. But we're so focused on on just doing crazy stuff. It, it's yeah. it's 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 yeah. But what what are the the, the new Business moves you're made right now because you just, I think in June you just brought out a new song. Yeah. Um. Uh, what 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 are the what, what what's the plan? What's the next move musically? Yeah. Uh, musically the next plan, we're just working. We're in album mode right now, so that's gonna be a big one. 
Um, I've got a joint project with another artist, Heady One. Dope. Yeah, that's been in demand. It's, it's going to be a, a, a an album. Or, yeah, uh, like yeah. a mixtape. Like, oh, yeah, dope. Yeah, joint mixtape. Oh, dope. And yeah, they've been asking for that for a moment. So we're just in the middle of that. That That's coming out um, this month. It's already so recorded and yeah, everybody. It's all done. The 22nd is out. So yeah, we're just building up to that whilst also working on the album. And just building, building the brand, man. Just, yeah. just staying working, man. Yeah. yeah. And and how 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 because you and Hedy One really have like a like a musical connection. Yeah. How 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 did you guys like connect? What's what's the magic between you guys? I feel like we're both just two unique people. Like just how we do stuff is just very different. But, I, but like I said, when I came in the game, especially with like drill, when drill like became big in the UK. We was like, like the very first people. There was only a few people, a handful of people, and me and Hedy One was definitely up there. And we connected from early and built the chemistry from early, and it's just been rolling since then. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he's blown up, been very successful. I've blown up, been successful. We've met each other on our journeys. Like, yeah, there's proper chemistry, and it hasn't come from. It's just kind of real, recognized, real. Like yeah. he's from North London, I'm from South London. So yeah. we didn't even really have any mutual friends or nothing, but just energy. Oh. Just yeah, we both come from similar backgrounds, and we're just trying to change our life, and that's yeah. what we're doing. And how's the process like in the studio? Is it like you just go in and vibe and just um, pick a direction because the beat talks and tells different stuff yeah. to you. Yeah. If you and me listen to the same beat, you'd be like, hey, but maybe I'd be like, I'm in the park, but I'd be like, yeah, but maybe I'd go like, mm -hmm. how do you, how do you, I was like, wonder, how do you pick the lane? Yeah. Uh, I listen to the beat. Like I said, I like to feel that. So however the feel, however the beat makes me feel, or whichever, like, I might listen to something and it brings something to my head, a memory, yeah, something. I and mean, then we just go from there just however I feel however the beat makes me feel that's that's what basically the one that kicks it off could like yeah. direct let's say for instance you hear the beat before he hears the beat and you like hey the beat makes you feel this uh, way then he could us. be like um, yeah. yeah yeah. I feel like he's similar like yeah it's the same thing we just run the beat and then it's just like whoever uh, gets an idea first yeah that, and then you relay it and yeah. then it's like Cool, let's go. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't understand. That's what I like about music. Because like, music is like something, it's it's kind of magical. Like on one hand, there is no, there's nothing. There's just a fundament. Yeah. The, 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 the fundamental part, the beat starts. And then just like Bluetooth, the idea just go poof. And yeah. like poof, and you take it out of the air. Poof, poof. And then you just put it together. And then yeah. at the end of the session, yeah. there's a record. Yeah, That's the magic part. 100%. That's the most, I think in my mind, one of the most, the most magical part, like afterwards, the business and that, then it gets, then it gets the music business. But I think that part is, is to me on, on, on like how I look at it. That's the most magical part. But who's like on your to do list? Like other rappers or artists? Who's be on your top five list for, hey, I would, uh, who, who with would me, you like to yeah, work with? It's kind of difficult with me. Like, I feel like most people have their top five and whatnot, but I'm just like, in different modes. I wake up tomorrow in different moods. Like, I like to, there's, there's loads of rappers that I respect and I rate and there's certain rappers that I, I rate highly but I don't, I wouldn't think we could make a good song together. Mm -hmm. But I'm just a person like, kind of go with the flow. Like, I just want to, with me personally, when I make music, I want to just meet people organically and, Taking the music and feel the vibe, yeah, feel the vibe. Yeah. Like, I, I, if I, I honestly don't have like a top five, where it's like I definitely want to work with that person because I, I feel like well, I'm so passionate about music, and I feel like with me, it's deeper than music. I like to meet the person, yeah, and all of this stuff. So, yeah, I'm not really one of them people that just have like my top five. I just like what I like. To yeah, be fair, do you get know what I'm saying? And it and it varies. Yeah, yeah. and and and. Like nowadays, the Afro scene is like booming. Afro beats, Burner Boy calls his style Afro fusion. Yeah. Um, how do you see that transition? Do you see yourself um, like joining up with that? Because that's a big movement, and yeah. and I love to see it move that way because it it brings the whole African 
yeah. musical flow to the yeah. world. So how do you how do you see that? How do you look at that that whole genre? Yeah, I feel like it's crazy. What Burner Boy's doing is crazy. And yeah, I rate it, man. And it's definitely not something people think it's out of my comfort zone, but at the end of the day, I'm an artist, so I'm open to make whatever I want want to make. It's just the right time linking the right producer or the right mm-hmm. artist or whatnot. Yeah. But these, I definitely want to get to like my final place with music is like, I make whatever I want to make. Like, oh, yeah. Don't put me in any bracket. Like, yeah. If I'm in this country today and this is the tradition and this is what's going on, we might make something yeah. that, you get me? I might be here, I make this. However I feel, that's what I'm going to do. Do you get yeah. what I'm going to say? And I respect all genres of music and yeah, I would definitely like to branch out. Yeah. yeah, and you get to travel also because of the success of your music. Have you been linking up with different artists in different countries as well? Yeah. Of, have you seen a couple of people already? Yeah, um, a few, like just just recent, we was in, where was we? We was in Bodrum in Turkey. We shot a music video with um, uh, artist Luciano and Murder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was different. Just to be around them and just see how they do things and like shooting a video. It was just it was different. It was a breath of fresh air, but it's good that we're from all different places. But like how we was rolling is like we're all from one place, you know what I'm trying to yeah, say? Dope. Yeah. So how did you guys link up? Was it through the internet, DM and like, like uh, um Luciano, I I've come across him a few times. Yeah. You know, kind of similar people. Murder, I didn't come across him. Like, I didn't meet him personally until that time. Yeah. But he's, 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 he's dope. Old, like, he's, yeah, he's, he's a dope like dude, man. He's yeah, like rock. rap Dutch. Um, and I remember him, me and him having a conversation. It was like, bro, if you do, if you rap in Turkish, but he's very talented. He yeah, can he's rap cold. English, Dutch, cold. and Turkish. And you, you see him, I'm so proud of him because I can see Murder doing his thing yeah. and really represent. I like to see that because yeah, I've yeah. seen where he comes from. He puts in the work. So yeah. it's dope. I like, I like, I like, I, I like that. And I Definitely. like the record you guys did too. No, big him up, man. And they, them lot, they show me love, man. They're welcoming that. So, yeah. Dope, dope, yeah. dope, dope. And, and, um, is there anything you want to say to the fans? Out here, like, um, give him a special shout out or some words of motivation. Um, say to the fans out here, what what can I say to them? If they don't know K Trap, then look me up, get me on the socials, take me in, and yeah, what else would I say? Just check them out. Check out K Trap. Yeah, just check the out future. stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah, man. Follow the journey, man. I've got a lot to show. I've got a lot to give, and yeah, man, you will enjoy it. So yeah, yeah. Keep up the good work, and and thanks for coming to my podcast. And uh, let's keep linking up. Definitely, uh, definitely. When I when I put out my album, I'm gonna check you out, man. Yeah. Do something on it. So, uh, but I like your energy, bro. And uh, it's dope to see and get to know you and see. How you how you move in your path. So keep up the good work and and, and the energy, man. Yeah, love, bro. Bless you, man. K Trap in the building, Mr. Good Vibes. You know, man, just represent the movement. Like, subscribe, push the content. Because if you want knowledge, it's the place to get the knowledge. Real talk, Nando Leaks. We're taking it worldwide. K Trap right here in the building. You hear it, Nando Leaks. Good vibes. Ah!